below, my dear friend. Imagine three rectangles arranged side by side. The width of the first two rectangles is 8 meters, while the second and the third rectangles together have a width of 9 meters. The area of the first rectangle is 25 square meters, and the third rectangle has an area of 30 square meters. Now the question is, what is the area of the second rectangle? You have one minute for this task and don't forget to write your answer in the comments below. Alright, let's tackle this puzzle. To simplify things, I propose to forget about the units and focus on the numbers. Let's say the width of the second rectangle is represented by the variable x. Now, if the second rectangle has a width of x, we can express the width of the first rectangle as 8 minus x. Let's extend this approach to the third rectangle. So, the width of the third rectangle would be 9 minus x. Moving further, let's suppose a common height for all three rectangles is y. Now, for the first rectangle, the area in terms of x and y is given by 8 minus x multiplied by y, and this equals to 25. We can do a similar calculations for the third rectangle with the area of 30. It can be expressed as 9 minus x multiplied by y. To calculate the area of the second rectangle in terms of x and y is simply x multiplied by y. Now we have three equations representing the areas of these rectangles. Beginning with the first equation, we'll distribute y and then repeat the process for the second equation. Now let's do a little math magic by subtracting the second equation from the first. The xy terms vanish and we are left with the simple truth that y equals 5. Finally, let's get back to the first equation and substitute in for y and solve for x. The result x equals 9 minus 6, which is 3. Putting the results together, we've got the area formula for the second rectangle, x multiplied by y. And we find that the area for the second rectangle is equal to 15 square meters. Hope you like such mathematics problems. Thanks for watching and see you!